Hello friend, welcome back. In this video, I will install another package and it's called Laravel Collective. And Laravel Collective help you to build HTML form and also you will get a lot of the facility for using it. So how can install it and how can use it in our project? I will show you that things with a live example. So for installing that Laravel Collective, you have to go to Google. Right now, I just search it as a Laravel. Okay, Laravel Collective form installer. Okay. So right now I just search it with this keyword and here first of all that is actually the link so right now I just open it and also if you want to go to their official website like that is actually their official website like I just open it but right now they are actually closed okay so right now they have no functionalities for this Laravel collective so their site is now off but still if you want to use it you can use it okay like here you can see there is an installation all that process for the Laravel 5.5 but right now I created our project with 5.8 okay so right now if you also want to install it like they have some of the command line you have to add some of the command line and also you have to add added some of the providers you also have to add some of the allies so right now I want to use it okay it's so like here that is actually the link so if you want to install it then you have to write down that command so I will share that link with you then you have to go to your composer and here into this position i just paste it as a composer required 5.4 and now i just click on the enter so it will also take little time for downloading all the laravel collective documents so you have to wait for it so when it should be done then i will come back again so now our laravel collective is successfully installed okay you can see it's now successfully installed and redirected to our home directory and now we have to do we have to add some of the things like we have to add that uh, provider so right now i just copy that providers also you can get the things from here okay you can see this is pretty much the same thing so for now i just copy it and in our config app area so here that is actually the place and that is our provided on that list so right now i just add that things on particular disposition okay and also we have to do we have to add our alias so here i just copy two of these and also here you get that link okay so for now i just copy two of these and in our allies so here there is the allies okay and into this position i just paste two of these on particular this area so that is one and that is actually the other one i just added added that thing on here and that's actually will be the single code and here that will be actually the single code here you can see there is a single code so right now i just added that form and also there is another one so that the html so here i just define the html so i just remove that things from here and also i remove that thing from this position so we don't need this so i just remove it and also i just remove that things from here so now here successfully add all the things okay now i just click on the save all so now i want to do how can use that laravel collective form for build your site okay like that is actually our page as a category edit and into this position i already created another page as a category create so if you go to the create okay so that is our create page so now i want to do i want to actually add all that form uh, with using that laravel collective so you can also uh, get a lot of the instruction from here like if you go to the uh, like here I just have defined as a Laravel collective Laravel collective uh, input form okay like here if you go to these positions like there are some of the instructions the how can use it okay like there is opening a form so here all the instruction how can you use it how can close that form okay so right now I want to do that work for doing this first of all um i want to actually open our this page so that is actually our page as a create and the category and the create page so right now we don't need this i just remove all the things from here okay so here if you go to these positions like here that is actually created in our resources and in our view there is a category and there is a create blade.php and into these positions like here you can see that is actually the form is html form so right now i just want to add that things with using the laravel collective form so how can do this so doing this like here uh, that is actually the command right now i just copy it okay i just copy it and in before this here i just paste on particular disposition and now here you have to be have to define another one like here i just define the method 
So here I just define the method and method that is actually the method as a post method. So I have to define the post method on particular disposition. And here I just define the post. Okay, so here I just define the post. So right now we don't need this. So right now I just remove that form from to this position. And now also I want to close that form. Like if you go to the instructions, like here you can see there is a close form code. So right now I just copy it and here uh, that is our form actually ending on particular this position. So I just remove it and I just place that things on here. That means the form will be closed on particular this position. And now if you click on the save all and now I just refresh that page. So if everything is okay, then it should be work like here. I just refresh that page. Now you can see it's now outputting the same things. Okay, so I hope you will understand about it. So here our Laravel collective is perfectly working on particular disposition. So that is I just started that from from here and I just end it. And in Laravel collective, we can also pointing our page with the URL. And if you go to the instructions here, you can find out a lot of the resources. We can actually point that things with the URL. We can point with the route and also some of the actions. And in the actions here, we define some of the controller and some of the method on particular disposition. So I will show you, then it will be very much clear to you. Right now, there is actually the URL on here. And now here, if you want to add that collective for the, our input field, like that is all that our input field. Okay, so better I just uh, make that this little bit on here. Okay, so then it will be better. So now if you want to update that things for this input field, like here, if you go to these positions, you can get a lot of the resources for using the text, like that if you want to use the text. Okay, so how can you use the text? You get that things from to this position. So right now I want to update that input field. Okay, like that is one of the input fields. So I just want to update that things with using the collective. So how can do that work? Like for doing this, there is a clear input. Okay. So first of all, here you have to do, you have to define the double second bracket. So here I just define the double second bracket. And into this position, I just define the form. Okay, into this position, I just define the command form. And now here our type, so type is now there is actually the text type. So here I just define the text type on particular disposition. And then here I want to add the name. So our name right now as a this one. So you just copy it and here I just assign that name on particular disposition. And also if you have some of the value, like right now there is a 100 value. Okay. So I don't need, need to show that value. All right now I just uh, want to add. I just make the things as a null on particular disposition. Okay. So here I just define that things on particular disposition as a null. So when you add some of the value, then you can add that value on particular this area. And also under this position, I want to add some of the attribute. An attribute means actually if, if you have some of the class and if you also want to show some of the ID, then you can do that work. For doing this, first of all, I just define that things or with using the third bracket. Okay. And into the third bracket, first of all, here I just define the class. So here you can see they have some of the class as a form control. So I just copy that form control and here I just define that class. So on particular this position, I just define our class name on particular this area. Okay. And also there are another things as the ID. So now I also want to add that ID for doing this in particular this position. I just define that ID and ID will be our this one. So here already they have some of the ID as a CC payment. So I just copy it and here I just define that ID. Okay, better I just put that things with one line. Then it will be better. So here that was actually the HTML format. So right now I just updated that things with our Laravel collective format. Okay, so each and everything is now added on here. I just put the class. I just added the ID on particular this area. And also I just put the text name that means this field name. So right now I just remove that things from here. Okay, that means I just remove that input field. So if you now click on the save all, like I just click on the save all and now I just refresh that page. So now here I get some of the error. You can see there is a spelling mistake. Uh, that is actually the form. Okay. So I just lay it right down as a form. So I hope you will understand about this. Right now I just added the form and I just defined that as a text. Now click on the save all and if you now refresh that page again. Yes, you can see it's now perfectly 
visible on particular disposition. That means our Laravel collective is perfectly working in our face. And now you can see I just updated that field like that way and now it's updated. And then also if you want to update that level uh, with using the collective, then you can also do that work like here. There is an instruction. You can see there is the Laravel instruction for a specific attribute. So here there is actually the command. So right now I just better copy it. Okay. So I just copy that form. I just copy it and now that is our form like that is actually the level. So right now I want to update that level with using our collective. Okay, so how can do that work? I will show you. Like here there is a level in our page that is a payment amount. So now I want to update it. So into this position first of all what exactly we have to do? We have to add the double second bracket and in particular this position I just paste it. Okay. And here, first of all, that is actually the class. So here, you know, there is some of the classes on particular disposition. So right now I just copy it. And here I just define that class name. And also that is actually the text. Which text will be visible? So right now this text will be visible as a payment amount. So here I just define the payment amount text on particular disposition. And then there is a for, there is a CC payment. So I just copy it. And here I just define the CC payment on particular disposition. Okay, and there is actually the semicolon. So here we don't need to use that semicolon and now it's perfect right now I just removed that level. So now I just click on the save all and if you now refresh that page like here I just refresh it. Yes, you can see there is a payment amount is now perfectly visible on here and also input field is visible on particular disposition. So that's how you can actually update your all that form with the form level from text with using the Laravel collective. So it's pretty much interactive things. I hope you can well understand about it, how you can do that work. So I will do a lot of the work step by step. Each and everything will be very much clear to you. So in our next video, I will start a new session. It's about database connectivity and the model. So my vision is to first of all, I want to know you all the basics. So if you know the basic, like when we create the project, then each and everything will be very much clear to you. So trust on me, I will be in your touch and you will enjoy this course so much. So thanks for watching this and I will see you in the next video.